My name's Linda. Um, I, my mother fell pregnant to a married man who had already had a four-year-old daughter and um, she came from herself from a large family and didn't want her parents to know that she had fallen pregnant to a married man that already had a daughter. She was Australian, so she came to New Zealand to try and abort the baby, being me, um, and she took the drug methotrexate. When you take the methotrexate drug within the first trimester of your pregnancy, it will abort the baby um, straight away. However, it didn't abort me. I survived with several um, abnormalities to my skull, to my feet, to my spine, to my fingers, and uh, very thin skin. Um, and I was hospitalised in Rotorua Hospital for quite some time, a year and a half after birth. I had brain surgery. My mother took off soon after the birth and went back to Australia and had four more children after me to the same man because he had um, gone for a divorce from his first wife. And um, I was then, after a year and a half in hospital, uh, by ambulance, sent to the home of compassion in Island Bay. I was sent there in Island Bay because the Home of Compassion in Island Bay had a hospital and I needed still hospitalised here and that's what I received here. I also got given the best surgical and medical care here as well as education which was Erskine College and St Madeleine Sophie School, the Sacred Heart Nuns. Um, and then years later, I worked in the post office after leaving college, saved up hard and went to India, to Calcutta, to meet Mother Teresa, of whom I had met when I was 10 years old here in New Zealand in about February, March 1973, when she stayed two nights here at the Home of Compassion in Island Bay. It was something I never forgot about and it was my dream that one day I would save up hard when I got a job and go and see her, which I did. I was three months with her in Calcutta. Then I came back to New Zealand and I went to Teachers Training College to train to be a teacher and I taught for about eight years or so and then I taught special needs and then years later, English is a second language. Suzanne Obi said daily in her prayers, thanks be to God for all he has done and is doing for us. I, Linda, say thanks be to God for all that the Sisters of Compassion have done for me. Sister Loyola for sending me off to Erskine College for the best education, for the nursing sisters um, and staff for looking after me for the many major surgeries I've had on my feet and my skull and for the sisters over the years that taught me, Sister Sheila, um, the Maori culture, Maori songs and actions and sending me off to Maori club and the sisters that were musical, Sister Margaret Ann, Sister Margaret Mary, Sister Sheila and Sister Bernadette Mary that got us singing and dancing and for the sisters that took us up the Whanganui River to meet the, those who accepted the children along with Suzanne Obia up the Whanganui River.